<laughs> you say the first page. Read. And you just <laughs> That's the first thing that's annoying me about this phone. Alright guys. I'm gonna show you guys ah, a bunch of the beauty products that I have picked up recently. Oh my lord. This dress is so beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I feel all of this time just because I tried to get in that many times. The health benefits of coconut water. Talia though, on yeah. the other hand. So, you were actually in front of me. Guys, look how beautiful that is. I'm sorry, I'm taking all of this on my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to go on my phone just so I don't wake myself up even more. They're a little bit on the cold side, unfortunately. My loves, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm back in Bali. I thought I would start off a little video. It's going to start here in Bali and then it's going to finish off in Sydney because I actually am going back to Sydney in a very short amount of time. I have a very, very exciting event that I'm heading to Sydney for, so I will vlog that. I also am really excited because it's nearly Nepi Day. I don't know if I actually spoke to you guys about Nepi last year. Nearly Nepi Day again, so it's the day of silence in Bali. I love the culture over here. I love the tradition over here. I love the religion. Like I love the people and I'm so respectful of that. Basically, there's a big, huge ceremony burning. Um, they get rid of all the bad spirits and then the next day Bali is in like silence so yeah it's really cool plus I'm going back to the Sydney for the event it is my little baby boy's first birthday so it's Rocky and Rexy's first birthday over here in Bali I'm so excited for that I will actually show you guys their presents they're not here they're back at our house um, but I'll show you our presents that we got them I do need to wrap them as well thank you thank you so much have a nice day got a coconut. Oh, so excited. Oh, this is weird. They've wrapped the coconut in black wrap and then it's in a plastic bag. I'm not going to pretend I'm too happy about the uh, use of plastic there, but I am very, very, very excited for this coconut. The health benefits of coconut water. They're so accessible over here um, and they're so fresh and I love them. I eat so many coconuts. I'm actually aiming to eat a little bit more as well. I never really order them when I'm at home. I just order them if I'm like at a cafe or if I'm at the beach or like a beach club or whatever. I'm going to start ordering them on Gojek just for the house because they seriously are so good for you. There's just so many electrolytes in coconut water. I'm going to run you through my first few things I need to shoot. And then after that, I'll come back and chat with you guys. I'm filming a... White Fox haul, like a clothing haul for YouTube. I am doing a story haul. I need to do two TikToks. Um, I'm also going to come back in here and I am taste testing, which I'm so excited for. I'm taste testing the Naked Harvest like greens powders. I haven't tried the mango or the strawberry and I'm so excited. I then have a few uh, posts to shoot, so I'll shoot those. I'm going to get a reel as well. I have some selfies to get that's it for the first half and then tonight slash this afternoon i'm going to be getting some more stuff but yeah that's it for probably the next couple of hours that will take i'm going to show you guys my outfits that i'm wearing today it is so cute and comfy i'm going to style it in a second but i just want to show you the actual like clothing items first so i'm wearing this little brown top so cute i had this in pink like a baby pink color and i have it in a white color so you guys might have seen me wear the other ones so lightweight and just easy in bali it is seriously so hot at this time of the year so it's so nice to just chuck on a little breezy top like this and it's so cute as well and then these little shorts i got them in a size eight just because i wanted them to be a little bit a little bit looser they definitely are like they do gape out a little bit on my stomach however i like them like that I've got on these sunnies. By the way, the top and the shorts are both white box. Tally XL is my discount code. And then this bag is what I'm going to use. And then these little shoes. Obviously, it's a completely different brown color. But I did actually try it on with a black bag, black shoes, and black sunnies. And that did look cute as well. But um, I just want to go more casual. So that's why I'm wearing this bag and then these shoes. That's my outfit. I'm going to show you guys ah, a bunch of the beauty products that I have picked up recently. I love seeing beauty products. 
so hopefully you guys do too no i do get good feedback from you guys when i do talk about it so i'm going to give you a rundown of just like the recent purchases that i've made please excuse the construction noise it's like literally inevitable in bali that there's going to be construction like it's just honestly there's so much construction in bali so firstly these ones here i'm most excited about these i have been loving them they kind of remind me of the dr dennis gross like little pads that's what these are but the brand is zo health and christy from skin you guys know that i love christy she's absolutely incredible i've also spoken about how my skin is going a little bit crazy and breaking out along my jawline at the moment she got me onto these ones the last facial that i had with her was the one of the new Zo facials and I responded so well. Second one I picked up also from her was the Medicaid Night Restore Cream. This is one that I've been using for such a long time. It honestly feels like a hug when you wear it. Like it is just so nice and hydrating. And recently I've actually been using it in the morning as well. So morning and night, even though it is a night cream, but I just love it. Another one I'm very excited about is this. So I got this from Emily Hadrill. I might have put it in my vlog. I don't actually think I did, but I got this from Emily Hadrill. I've been wanting to try Kerastase for such a long time, and that's the products that they use on my hair when I'm back on the Gold Coast and I'm getting my extensions moved. The blonde one, but it's not your typical blonde shampoo that really like brightens and tones. As you can see, it's like a clear product, but it is really great for lightened and blonde hair, but it's also really, really hydrating. So that's what I need. My hair is so dry over here in Bali. Instead of buying a conditioner, they suggested that I buy a mask and that's what they said that all the girls in the hair salon use as well. So it's a plant-based protein mask with niacinamide. So again, super, super hydrating. Did your backstage face and body. So when I go to Jen, and also I think when Topaz used to do my makeup, I'm really sorry about this construction, guys. When I used to go to Topaz as well, um, I think that she used this one also from memory, but Topaz has a little bubble, so she hasn't been doing my makeup for quite some time. But Jen uses this one on me, and I just feel like I feel so nice and bronzed and just like amazing. I obviously don't have it on right now. I don't have that much makeup on just because it's so sweaty, and I feel like I've already sweat half of it off. This one here, I actually need tips from you guys. I have not ever done a scalp serum before i picked this one up quite a while ago but i still haven't tried her it's the malia hair and it's probably something you see all over social media it just says peppermint hair growth oil on the front but i know for a fact it does have rosemary in it because that's actually why i got it yeah rosemary leaf oil flaxseed oil vitamin e sweet almond oil it's got heaps of different oils in it i'll let you guys know how it goes but please give me some tips on how best to do it. I believe that I'm just gonna section my hair off and do it bit by bit and kind of like brush it into the hair. I actually did get the coolest brush. It was quite interesting because I was talking to a friend about the scalp oiling. Then a sponsored ad popped up on my Instagram and it was a brush. It has like the nodules on the brush that are really, really good for like massaging your scalp. But then it also has um, a light. I'm pretty positive it's an LED light. Got the Emeka Purifying Cleansing Balm. I didn't actually buy this one. This came in my Beauty Loop. The Mecca Beauty Loops are so great. If you shop from Mecca and you aren't a Beauty Loop member, like you need to be one. So this came in that, but I have heard from my mom and a bunch of other people that it's really, really great for cleansing off your uh, makeup. And that is it. That is my recent stock up of beauty products. Sydney. I've checked into my hotel. I'm gonna sit down on the bed and do a bit of skin care now. The flight was actually not too bad. I didn't have a seat next to me, which if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that I absolutely love having a seat next to me and I literally try and do everything in my power to get a seat next to me, but the flight was completely filled. I didn't see a single seat available, so... That made me feel okay about not having a spare seat next to me. It was still fine though. It was in the daytime. So, I mean, I did sleep for probably like an hour and a half, I would say, like on and off, but not really. I kind of just watched some shows and did some work on my phone, planned my life away in my notes. Oh, and planning my shooting for tomorrow. So if you're wondering what all of this here is, it's my skincare and like vitamins and stuff. So I'm just going to do all of this before I head to bed. I'm actually not tired, but I mean, I kind of wish I was tired. So 
as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to jump into bed and not go on my phone so I can hopefully get a really, really nice sleep tonight. Three hours time difference at the moment, so quite a big difference for me. So right now it is 10.25, which is only 7.25 for me. So yeah, I'm going to try not to go on my phone just so I don't wake myself up even more. Also as well, Ali and myself and Emily will, I mean... They're going for a run. I don't actually know if I'm going to go for a run. I was thinking about just sitting on my phone and watching the sunrise and doing a little bit of editing on my phone. But I don't know. Maybe I will go for a little bit of a run. We're going to walk after. But depending on the run part, I just don't run. <laughs> and I just never really have. Honestly, I feel like everyone is running right now though. So I don't know. It kind of motivate, motivates you a little bit to almost give it a try but we will see we'll see how i'm feeling so i haven't even told you guys what i'm here for i'm here with baddest bod which is super exciting so as you guys know baddest bod is the tanning brand that i have used for well exactly two years now because that's what i'm here for celebrating i'm here to celebrate their second birthday they're having a party tomorrow night which is so exciting you guys know how much i love the tan and i love working for them so it's very very kind of them to have flown me in for the event so that's tomorrow night plan is tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up get myself ready for the day i'm gonna go have breakfast because it's actually breakfast included in the room it's like on level one in the library which is quite random then i'm gonna go and get my hair done emily hadrill where i get my extensions um have a store in sydney and it's only like eight minutes from here so i booked in to go and get that done in the morning i'll get my hair washed and, and then i'm going to go into the white box office i'm going to pick up some options for tomorrow night's event i'm going to show you guys my options because i actually have no idea what i'm going to wear i think i ordered three different options so i'll show you guys that tomorrow as this guys i forgot my lip balm on the flight like if you know me you know how traumatizing that is for me it was in my suitcase i was so upset it's because i lost my carmex earlier in the week and i always rotate between carmex and Laneige. Laneige is ah, Laneige is what i probably use the most but if i i don't know if this makes sense but if i let my lips get very very dry and they're really sore and chapped the only thing that will bring me back is carmex like Laneige will not work on my lips when it gets to that stage i will use it constantly but if they're really really chapped and dry which kind of happens to me easily, especially if I've been in the sun. Like, Carmex is the only thing that works. I had a look around Bali Airport, and there was definitely no Carmex in there, which I already knew. I then tried in Sydney Airport, and I couldn't see any in the, like, convenience store on the way out, so I ordered it on Uber Eats, and my $14 Carmex just arrived. Trouble vitamin C is literally the best. Although I did actually have a cape on me, so you probably couldn't see this jumper. It is so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. A little bit on the cool side. It's probably not going to stay cold all day, but I've decided to whip out a jumper and then some jeans. Quite like long oversized sleeves and then it just crops off like just before where your jeans end, which is really nice. And then these jeans. I'm absolutely obsessed with these jeans. They're such a nice style we are good to go guys this is my little outfit that i've just changed into because it's actually warmed up now it's not as cold as i thought it was going to be so i've taken the sweater that i had on before and i popped on this little top here that i just picked up so i got this in like the sagey greeny color and it is so hot so i needed to get it in black so i don't know if you can really see from the video but it's like sheer here it has the underwire cups so it's like super flattering and the back is like fully backless see this top like if they bring it out in another color i instantly need it and then the jeans are just those jeans that i had on earlier 
I'm going to work out my outfit for tonight. Honestly, wearing this top that I just showed you guys in the White Fox office, like, it is just so hot. Part of me is, like, wear this top, a pair of heels, dress it up heaps. And, like, that could be such a vibe. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to wear a dress. I want to step it up that bit more and just be a little bit more dressy. So this bag here, this one is my options. Honestly, I love this. It is definitely on theme. It's actually so difficult to get into. I wish I could have filmed myself trying to get into that for you guys, but my tits were going everywhere. I don't have bra, bra on, so it was just a little bit chaos. So it's actually two separate pieces. This is like a bolero, but then the bolero hooks into this part and it all crisscross around. Quite confusing, but once you're in it, it's very, very hot. Honestly, I think we've kind of like struck gold already. Like, I feel like this is exactly what I want to wear to the party tonight. The name of the party is Born To Be Bad, like Born Number Two Be Bad, because obviously it's bad as bod and it's her second birthday. So I feel like this is like very on brand. It's at a penthouse in Sydney. I do have my arms covered in, which is, nice as well like it's not going to provide that much warmth but it will definitely provide a little bit only thing is i've really had my heart set on wearing the other outfit um i'll show you guys soon but it's so fun and like so sparkly so i don't know but maybe it's too much maybe the other one's too much and maybe this is the right amount you know what i mean so i need to know what you guys think in the comments oh my gosh this is so hot like stunning oh maybe i should wear this I don't know. So what I'm thinking, guys, is hide the bikini strap and you can see that there. Like, I feel like it's not bad, but, I mean, if you're at a festival, you wouldn't even notice it. But what I'm thinking is because it kind of, like, sculpts in here, I think I can just tuck the straps behind my boobs, like, behind the bikini. Let me see if this is going to work. So I'm going to tuck them behind the boobs. Oh, okay. Dramatic out there, Sydney. These boobs... So they're called the Jacks boots, I guess. Um, but the style of them is called Jacks, and they are so nice. They're such a good length. I think they're not too high, but they're not too short as well. Okay, I love it with the boots. I just don't know. Like, is it true party? Is it more like I'm going to a like festival. Comment and let me know what you think. Even though by the time this video was up, the party will well and truly be over. I still want to see what you guys think at this point in time, like from me trying them on. I'm going to try the last option on. Um, and yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Actually, I just want to show you the jacket. I showed you guys this jacket last winter. I kept it for this winter because it's just such a nice jacket. If I'm cold or like I'm feeling a little bit naked, I can wear this. And I feel like, like that's cute with the boots, you know. Like if I don't want to be so party. So that's an option. Oh my lord. This dress is so beautiful. I mean, I've already decided against it for tonight. I feel like it's just not party enough. Like it's a little bit too pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this this afternoon. We're actually going to go over to Toddy's, Ali and myself. I think I mentioned that to you guys last night. But we're going to go to Toddy's, which I'm so excited about. We're going to have some pasta and have a little catch up. And then we'll go to the event. So I feel like maybe I will wear this one to Toddy's. Stunning. You know, I could even wear the boots if I wanted to kind of like winter it up a little bit but i think i won't i think i'm just gonna wear my clear heels um and keep it very like the dress is the focus kind of thing so i'm actually so confused that i literally just filmed a tiktok like that is how confused i am i wasn't going to but i just filmed a tiktok and i'm gonna ask over there because at least i can post it right now and get an answer um but yeah anyway you guys will see soon okay guys what is my rule when i'm in australia Never leave without nuggies. I have to order myself two nuggies. Did I get ten or six? I really can't remember now. I just wanted a little bit of something before Toddy's. I had a banana this morning, which I don't think I actually showed you guys, but they had like a little buffet, bre well, not buffet, but a little like breakfast station. And I went and got a banana and then I got this like it was kind of like seeds. It was like a whole grain kind of bar. I had one of those, but it look, it's not enough. I needed to get some nuggies. They're a little bit on the cold side, unfortunately. But I just got them on Uber Eats. So good. Mm. 
Okay, I need to show you this because tomorrow, before we leave, it's literally going to be 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Like, that is absurd. I'm not going to be jumping in front of the camera. Em and Ali have both been doing a bit of running lately. Now, I am not a runner at all in the slightest, and I'm 99% sure that I'm not going to do it, and I'm probably just going to sit on the hill and watch the sunset and have a nice little time by myself, maybe editing some content or whatever. But there is a slight chance that maybe I might run for a little bit. Now, I have only run three times in the past probably 15 years of my life, and that's at Bamboo. Sometimes we do a warm-up. We go for like a one clock and run. Um, and it's tough, but it's definitely like fully doable. So I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Pending. But I just wanted to show you this today because like I said, it's going to be really early tomorrow. And I'm obviously not going to show you this set in the morning color is so cute and just hold on one second this is what finishes off the outfit honestly you can't tell me that when you get a new water bottle it doesn't make you work out harder and it's got the little red branding on it which i think is so cute so this is my little outfit for tomorrow there's actually a bubbler outside in this hotel which is great so i'm going to go fill this up now so that it's sitting here for the morning and i already have this i got these shorts in a size small as well just because i find in these ones from white fox they fit a little bit better when i do go the size small they're just a little bit longer love this top though it is so flattering it has the padding in it and like a built-in bra so it feels super super supportive here's Dibby, three zeros so we've come to toddy's the girls are digging in to some food before we head to our event typical how's your first experience well you're not sure yet i'm not sure i haven't tried it yet guys this is actually so funny i need to turn around so i can realize i had never been to toddy's which is so bizarre i thought all of this time just because i tried to get in that many times and never could i honestly just thought that i had and yeah i had never literally been i'd just been to mateo maybe like i'd say probably four or five times and never to toddy's so this is my first experience so far it looks good but pending we'll let you know once i actually taste the food <laughs> We got kasha pepe and then we got a it was like a tomato capers yeah olives, olives chili chili it's like it'd be quite flavorful and yeah oh. Because honestly, I just hate it when it's cold and you've got to get out of the blankets. It's literally traumatizing. So I have my active wear and then I feel like it might be pretty cold. So I also have that uh, like trackies set that I showed you guys. So pending the temperature when I wake up in the morning. Oh, I just realized the aircon's off. I might actually turn the aircon on, but I kind of feel like I don't even need it to be honest. Bedtime for me, my loves. I'm going to take off this makeup i've got these oh my god honestly they're so dry i don't think that's even gonna work i think i'm gonna have to put some water on this makeup wipe to use it i'm out of my micellar water and that's what i like using to get my makeup off but i have these micellar wipes in there anyway i need to buy myself some micellar water i need to buy a few more things from kohl's before i head back to Bali. That's actually all that I needed to do. Uh, I'm going to go into Celine, but I will chat to you guys about that tomorrow. So hopefully they have what I want in Celine. Chat with my boyfriend for a little bit because Bali's three hours behind. So he is just sitting down and having some dinner. Chat with him for a little bit and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to turn this aircon off because it's absolutely freezing. This bed is very, very comfy though. So that is great. The event was so much fun tonight. It was so nice catching up with all the girls. Some of the girls I haven't seen in a little while and to see claudia and ash who work for baddest so yeah that was really really nice and i'm really glad that i came to be honest i had a nice catch up with ali this afternoon we went to toddy's so that was really nice um to get a little catch up dinner in before the event and yeah i'm very very glad that i came and i had two sips of a margarita as we came in and then the rest of the night i just had two soda waters and no one even noticed that i wasn't drinking so that was great. I feel very um, hydrated after having those big, large soda waters. I will be thanking myself when my alarm goes off at 5.15 in the morning. Good night, guys. I love you, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. You ready, Miss Yep. What have I been roped into? Okay. 
going for a goddamn run. run. It's good. Ah. I'm actually quite proud of myself to be honest. We just went for a run. We left our hotel at 5.30, drove to Canala and then started running. Mind you, 5.30 is 2.30 Bali time. So yeah, middle, middle of the night basically for me. I wasn't actually gonna run that far. I was gonna run one kilometer and then just sit down, but I ended up running 2.5 kilometers is what it says on my app. I had this around my waist purely just because I didn't think that I would, I thought I was gonna run for one kilometer, so I was gonna get cold. I'm definitely not cold. My calves, are burning and I am so hot. I'm literally on fire. I think it's about 6.30 now to be honest. We had to get out to Cronulla and then park and whatnot. Um, but yeah, my calves are so incredibly sore. It actually wasn't as hard as what I thought it would be at all. So I actually might do it again. I need headphones though. I really was at a disadvantage, but I just stopped because I could just feel my calves. Like before I was getting like too, too tired. I could have easily pushed myself further, but I can feel my calves. And like when I step, I am going to be so incredibly sore tomorrow like you have no idea how sore i'm gonna be i'm gonna check back in tomorrow once i fly out this afternoon um and i feel like i'm just gonna be so sore but anyway i'll give you an update later guys look how beautiful that is i'm sorry i'm taking all of this on my phone i obviously wasn't running with the camera but it's stunning well guys how did we go we did well Good. you it's actually got better you got i know fit. i was you yeah, were you running at quite a good pace um oh, ali i can't have any Oh, until yeah, I stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, yeah, until stopped. I stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I feel I'm like. Impressed. Yeah, I'm I feel like if you practice, yeah, almost you get like three. Yeah. Did you? yeah. You did two well, before, so after I was, I was chatting to you guys before. After I did that, then I saw the girls. I started walking back. I walked back and then met up with them. And when I met up with them, Ali's like, it was so cute because you didn't even realize. Ali was like, we've got 500 meters to go. We'll see you there. And then I was like, I'm you gonna run. You actually caught up because you took a photo of the beach. Yeah. I took it. Yeah, I, I've got a pretty. Yeah. I would have a fast running pace, I reckon. Yeah. Swear to God, because I've got a big stride. Yeah. Everyone always says I walk fast, so yeah. I don't know. I feel like it'd be okay. And then yeah, I did yeah. an extra 500, so pretty much did three kilometers, which is fucking yeah. insane. It, I reckon it was done. grade maybe like six cross country or grade four cross right, country we that I last went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. And apart from then, yes, my calves were burning. So quite proud of myself, guys. Maybe, Sorry. maybe I might even do it again. Who knows? Ooh, Who knows? New era unlocked. New era. Hi. Anyway, running at two thirty in the morning was really fun for me today. <laughs> You can see the baked goods in there. It looks so delicious. Place is so busy. We're literally waiting in a line, but we're we'll trying to get some goodies. Hopefully, get a table whilst we're waiting and get some food. Yum, guys. This is what we ended up with. We got like a ricotta, pesto, caramelized onion. Uh, what else is in there? Pumpkin. And then this one here is like a custard, <laughs> it's custard mango, peachy kind of creamy tart. We got a cookie that Em said we need to try, and then we got a cheesy. My scroll which is so random but it looks so delicious. Yeah. Which one first? This one? I think this one. Should we half them? Yeah and then half them. Oh that's nice. She looks cheesy. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Cheese heavy. We're going for I was like that's been wrapped so well. Oh my god. Oh, so good, bro. Mm. It's so delicious. It's so good. 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 It's so
Um, so, Em, do you want to start that book? Because I've been meaning to start yeah, this one. We're basically on top of each other. So. Do you actually, I'm serious, do you actually want to do it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can. Hey, you just. <laughs> Can you see? Okay, I can okay. see it. <laughs> Alright, you tell oh, me I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a slow reader, so you're gonna have oh, you gonna have to You may have to hold hold at the bottom of the page. Okay, I'll pause. Okay. Maybe pass it to Hi. Tal as well so she can read the first page and then you guys can share it. Bronte, I got a bunch of parcels delivered to her house. I needed a naked harvest restock. I got a new camera. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I will show you that and explain that to you guys soon. I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's Mecca. Um, I got some active wear. There's some scans to label, samples in there, a bunch of stuff. I might actually show you guys once I get back to Bali and do a little, I might do a little haul of everything. Oh my god, stop. This is this is so cute. This is one of the other sets slash outfits that I picked up from White Box. So it's from their new Era 8 collection. Got this pink little top. The material is so nice. Like it's so soft. And then I got these grey trackies. They have the pink branding on the side. So I thought it would be cute to match. And then I got a hoodie. I got the hoodie to match as well. I love. I got size XS slash S in the hoodie. And then in the trackies, I got size S just because I like them to be a bit more baggy. So I opt for the S over the extra small. I wear it like this to start off with. Probably be way too hot wearing the full kit. Although, who knows, by the time it's 5 p.m. it might have cooled off a little bit. I love the white box socks. That is the length of them. And then I'm going to pop on my shoes that I flew over here with, wherever they are. These shoes, they can sit here for a little while. I'm going to finish packing off my suitcases now. Zip everything up. Give the room a little once over. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And then I will check back in with you guys. sunnies have always suited me i just like haven't actually been like okay you know what go and treat yourself queen i never buy myself designer sunnies so here we go like i'm sorry she's literally perfect it's so cute if i was being really naughty i'd bring her home as well good morning good morning he's like what is that big camera <laughs> yummy they might in the sun, then yeah. fucking, then if you wouldn't leave. Guys, it is literally boring. Honestly, it's been raining for like five days straight. It's actually kind of nice for a change, but I would have loved to be laying by the sun for this day. Yeah, so I go, I go, Hi! Hi! Cool, cool, go! Yeah, boy! Walk! Oh, Huggy Stray! <laughs> this is a pool area. It's definitely not that cute compared to a lot of the other resorts and hotels that you can stay in Bali, but it was super cheap and it's still nice. I think some of the rooms were like 200 a night, which is so cheap these days. 
and then our room I think maybe it was like 350 because we got a pool view room but it, I mean it wasn't a pool view room we thought that it'd be like looking onto this pool but it was just looking onto this like little lagoon thing so yeah We found some twins. I'm manifesting the twins. Is this our stuff, Rani? Yeah. I've been manifesting the twins. And you found some twins. Yeah, they're coming to the pool. To dinner, buffet dinner, and this is the attire. Let's go. Are you bringing the camera to dinner? Uh, no, I'm not. Just wanted to show everyone our little robe outfits. Woohoo! Okay, I gotta be quiet. See, you guys, I'm gonna show you when we get out of here. It's all very dark and all the lights are off, and you gotta be super silent. Bye. Alright, guys, I'm gonna show you the boys' first birthday presents. They're so adorable. Random, but the shop that I bought it from actually, well, I mean, it's nice that they did it, they gift wrapped it for us but it's like obviously a very very girly gift wrap um and both of them are boys so i'm gonna re-wrap that one now we'll personalize little puzzly thingies so they say rexy and then this one here says rocky i'm so annoyed that this is like moved in the plastic but i obviously don't want to rip the plastic open but two of the little things have popped out but anyway i'll see if i can just like jiggle it and like shuffle them back in so cute on the website you could choose the fillers so i chose like some little an animals and there's little dinosaurs and stuff there little trucks and whatever then i'm rocky's a little fire truck so yeah it's their first little big boy shirts they can wear when we go out to dinner sometimes. So this one's for Rexy and it's the white. And then we got Rocky the same, but in the blue color. They're so adorable. They're like linen shirts from Seed. Seed has the cutest baby stuff. But I did notice when I was in there the other day that literally everything was winter. Obviously, because they're going to start coming into winter very soon. Um, and it's already autumn, even though it feels that hot. So, yeah, it was kind of tricky to find them stuff. But we thought we'd get them these cute little big boy shirts. I'm going to wrap these up. This is the wrapping paper that we just went out and found. We went to Mr. DIY, which if you're in Indonesia and you need like a cheap $2 kind of shop. They have so much stuff there. Hello guys, it is the boys' first birthday. I don't know if you can hear anything quite a loud speaker but I'm just gonna film a little bit from the day probably not too much to be honest because we have heaps of little babies with kids everywhere and it might be a little bit chaos. Which one are you gonna have? Which one is Rocky's? Nah you can have whatever you want. It is your birthday <laughs> Look at Brand. Is that all over Daddy's face? <laughs> Fuck, literally. <laughs> Back in Bali, guys. Do you have whiplash from all of my traveling and moving around? I feel like in my vlogs, I'm like, oh, I'm on the Gold Coast. I'm in Sydney. 
I'm in Bali. I suppose it keeps it interesting. I'm back in Bali and straight back into it. I just had to shoot the Era 8 collection. I also had to shoot one other thing and now I'm just sitting down to have some food. I am starving. Like you guys know that when I'm shooting, I just, <gasps> they forgot my mayo. I am literally devastated. I'm going to have to write a complaint about that, guys. I'm going to have to be a cat room because I get this chicken sandwich every single day. And honestly, I love it so much. It's just so simple. I don't know what just happened there. Anyway, it's just lettuce, tomato, cheese. It has this gremolata mayo, which is what makes it. And I always get a little bit extra because I like to dip it in. And then I get an extra 100 grams of chicken on the side and pop that in it as well. Mm. Mm. So it's called Tara Bell. I feel like not that many people actually go there unless they live here because it's the top of Ungasan, so it's up a little bit further away from like being in an Uluwatu. I fell straight to sleep as soon as I got on the plane and I literally didn't wake back up again until they said um that we're starting our descent in 20 minutes. Like cabin crew, we're starting the descent in 20 minutes. Whatever they say. I woke up a lot of times, like probably like five, six times, just because my leg was going numb, my arm was going numb or whatever. But every time I did that, I would fall back to sleep. So yeah, it was a great flight, to be honest. Um, I obviously needed that little bit of extra sleep. And then I just had a very uh, productive day yesterday. And then today, back into the gym again, was in the gym yesterday. And then I'm doing a bit of shooting today. Mm -hmm. Wow, I fully just had to take a minute and finish off that sandwich. I was just too hungry. I just couldn't focus on talking. So I went for a run. I am honestly so proud of myself, guys. I have literally, like I said in the video, apologies for filming on my phone, but I wasn't bringing a camera whilst running. I have not run in such a long time and I really was proud of myself for just getting out of my comfort zone, not overthinking it too much and just honestly doing it. So many people are running at the moment. It's like literally the new thing to do, but I just didn't think it was for me. My calves have been so sore. Jay gave me a calf massage last night and I think that really helped because it's definitely loosened them up a little bit. And also getting straight back into training as well. I think it's really helped loosen them up, but they were so tight. My calves were obviously really, really weak. So I think it would be good running. Like the fact that they do get sore without obviously getting too sore and injuring yourself. I think it's a good thing that they are getting sore because it means it's kind of like using a muscle that perhaps I really wasn't using otherwise. We then went for a walk. We went to a bakery and then we went to a little beach spot. Then we dropped Ali back to the airport and then Em and I just spent the afternoon together on her rooftop getting a little bit more sun. I got Cammy's, which is my favorite gravy chicken chips kind of combination. Um, and then I went to the airport and dropped me off to the airport too. So thankful to have the girlfriends that I do in my life. And I have such a great friendship with Em and such a great friendship with Ali. And I really, really am so thankful for both of our friendships. It was a very lovely day. And I feel like we all felt like our cups were very full after that day. So looking forward to the next one already. I'm actually going to be starting a new vlog tomorrow because I have some seriously exciting news like very spontaneous but very exciting news so i think i'll start off the video by sharing that with you guys and then we'll kind of go from there also as well i've just been in the middle of setting up my new phone i hate how these new phones when they're locked they're still like bright every time i see it i mean they're not fully bright but you can still see the numbers and the screensaver. Like every time I see it, it catches my eye and I think I've got a notification. I need to check my phone. It drives me crazy, but I don't think you can take it off. So that's the first thing that's annoying me about this phone. I am quite impressed with how these pickies just took before. I just want to show you. I don't know if you can see how clear it is, but I'm quite happy with how these photos took. I literally just took one pic and it was in... A bedroom so i wasn't really outside out and about and whatever the selfie that i took didn't really look that great so pending i will give you guys a review in probably like two or three weeks once i've used the phone a few more times and taken it to a few locations i will give you my honest review on what i think of the 15 pro max and then starting off a new vlog tomorrow i love you all and i'll speak to you soon